Yes, uh, before we begin, Mr. Smollett, can you please take off your do-rag when you're present in the courtroom? Uh, no. And why can you not do that? Because I'm the gay Tupac. What's good? What's good? Judge, can you tell him to take off his do-rag? All right, Smollett, you're going to have to remove the device off the top of your cranium, please. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> In order to continue this case, all right. Uh, judge, can you ask him to put it back on? I'm on it. Smollett, put the device back on your head oh to cover gosh. that uh, cranium, please. Yeah. Thank you. Please. Case all right. Continue. Good afternoon, Mr. Smollett. How are you? I am blessed and highly flavored. Okay. Uh, quick question before we begin. Uh, the jury and us in the courtroom want to know, you say you went to Subway's at 2 in the morning? Yes. And you're a brother. You could have went to Popeye's, oh. KFC. You bypass all those places and go to Subway's? Why? Yes. I cannot stand breasts and thighs. Ugh. Ugh. This mouth only takes in ding-dongs. I mean, footlongs. Footlongs. That's why I take a nice, Thank strong, you. long All right, all right. Foot small long. Like, small like no need to uh, oh elaborate on what goes in. Yeah. I'm mm. Mm. Okay. So please, if you wouldn't mind, Mr. Smollett, uh, can you please walk us through what happened on the night of January 29th, 2019? Yes, yes I can. I was so hungry, right? But I was so afraid because I had like a, a death note at my, at my job where I worked at. I was at an Empire show and people wasn't taking it seriously. So I was afraid the whole week. But I was so hungry. I went to the outside, get a nice Subway sandwich, foot long, Extra strong. I get out Subway. All of a sudden, two big, gigantic, big MAGA guy is shot beating me up. Well, at the time I thought it was MAGA guys, but I find out it was two of my African trainers that I hired. Now, you hired these two African brothers to train you physically or mentally? Mm, I hired them to train me mentally, physically, and mm, anally. Okay. <laughs> Especially that strong one. Oh, they try, they fit me every way, every Lee. If it's a Lee on it, they train it, trust me. Okay. Trust me. Okay. Oh my God. Extra information, okay. <sighs> if I'm not mistaken, you found these African brothers on Backpage? No, that is a bold face lie, okay? I found them on Cock Talk. Oh, the greatest cock app in the world. I I'm mean, sorry, Cock Talk? Yes, Cock Talk. You never heard of it? No, I've never heard of it. Can you, can you elaborate for the courtroom? Yes, it's the greatest gay app in the world. Like, you see all types of gays. I'm talking about black gays, Chinese gays, yellow gays, green gays. It's a gay bay day. That's what you call it. Gay Bay Day. I just love it. Thank you for clearing that up. And bro. I saw these two brothers and I was like, whoa, I need. You know? Some things you want in life, but this is what I need. You know what I mean? Oh. Thank you for clearing that up for the courtroom. Of course. Um, now, let's get to the hard stuff. All right. No, I must point out, <laughs> Mrs. Smollett, that you are a talented actor. <sighs> and what would you say to most people who say that you're making this story up? Does I look like I'm active, huh? You did. You mean tell me, I'm a play gay and get attacked? Me just holding up for what? What do I gain from this? What? It's that's embarrassing. What, that's what we're here to find out today. I would assume an extra letter on the LGBTQ HD. I don't know which one you would like to add on to it. Listen, okay. First and foremost, I would never create this whole hopeful. I get another game. I got embarrassment. I got death threats. People hate me. I got another game from this, okay? These two gentlemen beat me up for God knows what reason, okay? You know what hurt the most, Your Honor? One of them is my gay lover. <laughs> there, I said it. One of them is your gay lover? Yes, yes, yes. One of the two brothers? Yes. Can you please point out or tell us in the courtroom today which one of those brothers is your gay lover? The nice, big, thick one with a corduroy jacket and his man chest hanging out with his taco beef. DB, this is, this is not true. Zabuma, fool, what is he talking about, the gay lover? Ah, he has dreaming. He made me have a dream, but I don't do that. You are the only one in here with the blazer, corduroy, with nothing under. And your titties are showing everybody there. I 
start selling money, you are not able to come home then. She is going to hang you on Why the street. Why are you lying? No, I'm not lying. He is lying. Order, order the court. Order. The court, he has his chest out for a he reason. He's a liar. He's trying to tease me, Your Honor. He's trying to seduce me right now. He is a liar, Your Honor. In my country, they call him Fufu. Okay, so my next question for the courtroom. Were you intimate with this brother before your attack or after? We was intimate definitely before leading up to the attack. And what surprised me because he was deep in me the other night. Very deep in me. Mm. Oh. Like, I don't even fart no more. You know how you fart you fiction? You know, I just do. Because he was so strong in me. I just blow now. I just, you don't hear my farts. Be like, ooh, who farted? It stinks. I ain't hear nobody fart. I'm like, it's me, girl. Hey. You know what I mean? <sighs> I'm just hurt that he would ever do this to me, okay? Like, we've been intimate for months, ever since we met on Cock Talk. And literally, it's just shocking because he actually go to a gay party, right? It's a gay strip club. They just have a jerk off contest. You know, whoever jerk off the fastest wins the contest. And he said, I'm a bad joker to you. I'm like, no, you're not. I'm a bad joker to you. No, so you're short. We're in the lift. He's lifted. I'm lifted. I'm smoking drugs, cocaine off his c**k. He's smoking on mine. I give him head. He gives me head. I give him more head. It was a heady day. And we just had so much fun. It feels like I'm in a Looney Tunes adventure movie, you know? Because the whole thing is just animated. Now, what would you say here to this police report? I'll read it as follows. Mr. Smollett entered a low store after the alleged attack with what appeared to be a noose around his neck. What do you say to the courtroom of that? After your attack, this is after now, after they done beat you up, you're entering a Lowe's hardware store with a noose around your neck. Now, what do you say about this video footage that the police have of you. I want to show the world this is what they did to me, but they cannot break me. I may be bruised, but I am not broken. Hello, come on. Fast forward, rewind, press play. Truly phenomenal, Mr. Yes, Trump. it is. Last yes, question, it is. last question for us. What would you like to obtain and what would you like your, the sentencing today to be? Honestly, I am innocent. I need these two brothers to go to jail. Unless you want to come with me to hell. Hello. <laughs> but seriously, I want to know, I want every black gay boy out there to know that you are strong, you are long. You are not a loser. No matter what happens to your life, fight back. I want justice. I want these guys to go to jail as long as possible, unless we have a little cock fight. But if not, I need to go to jail. Now, during this attack, Mr. Smollett, I want to know, and the courtroom also would like to know, did you retaliate in any way during the attack? Yes, I fought back. I fought back. Wrap rope around his, rope neck. around his neck. Let me fight back a little bit. Let me fight back. All right. Oh. Ow, that hurt, nigga. What the hell did you do? I got it one of the jaws. That's because they hit me, right? I said, uh, uh, uh. I got a couple of hits. I'm sorry. Um. Can you do that sound effect one more time for the court? Show the courtroom exactly exactly how you did it again. It was very vigorous, but I got complaints. These brothers you see right here are liars, okay? They offered me a million dollars if I don't testify. Wait, so let's just be clear here. Let's be clear in the courtroom. These two brothers offered to pay you $1 million to one. not be on the stand today? Yes. And I said no. God want justice for Jesse. That nigger's not. You, he is a liar. We will never do something like that for what that. What kind of shit are you on? It was $2 million. $1 million, $2 million, one dick, two dicks. It's the same stick. Listen. Now, before you leave today, what would you like to gain and obtain from this trial today? I like to gain and obtain equality. Not only for me, for all the gays in the LGBTQ and the BLM community. I want us to be 
equality, but we'll also be a little extra. That's just a little spice. That's a little extra. Like, you're human, but we are superhuman. I want the world to look at us as gods. I don't want no one to ever say anything about gays. Black people is fine. But it's gays, nothing. If you talk about anything, about anything about the LGBT community, I want people to get canceled up immediately. Even if you think gay, if it's not cock talk, then it's different. But if you think gay in a hatred way, they need to go. Okay? So I want equality, but mainly equality for us gays and the regular people, the straight people, inequality. That's what I want. And if the judge finds you guilty, what then of you? Yeah, I'm gonna spend a long, hard time. Can you please put your door up? I can't because this is emotional, okay? I'm gonna spend a long, hard time in jail thinking about. Put the freaking durag back on, or you're going to jail. Okay, okay. Put it on. Okay. We'll sit you in an electric chair if you take it off one more time. Please, go uh, straight to the gas chamber, please, buddy. I'm put it on. I just, let's just not hope it goes there, okay? Let's not hope it goes there. Let's just hope that I'm innocent until proven guilty, okay? Mrs. Smollett, thank you for your testimony. You're honored them for the questions. And I want a little gay boy who might watch this to see that I fought back.